Hey guys, Zoeb here from OneGlassTrader.com and in this video I'm excited to share with you the tutorial video for the OGT price action indicator version 1.2. So I know that a lot of people have been reaching out to me asking about when 1.2 is available and it is finally ready. So for those who are new to the OGT family, welcome. And you know you can download this indicator absolutely free uh, at OneGlanceTrader.com or click the link inside the description. Now, I remember when I started this journey with just the uh, uh, just the pin bar uh, indicator. You know, it's it's been a journey. I've really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed working with a lot of people. I met a, a lot of new traders during this journey, speaking with them over Skype, and you know anyone any new traders or people just want to understand more about the OGT price action indicator and want to have a chat with me over Skype, please feel free to message me more than happy to uh, speak to fellow traders. And, um, and yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone again for all their hard work and effort in terms of helping me improve this indicator and, and you know, by no means are we finished. So uh, we're still going, but this is just the next edition. So what I wanted to do in today's video is go through the changes and the updates in version 1.2 and then I'll go through you know the new patterns in version 1.2 show how they look on the charts etc and uh, and and take it from there I'll be doing more detailed videos on the in, on the new individual price patterns in terms of you know how they're traded etc and what ideas that you know that I've used as as well as what you know the the standard industry text mentions about how to trade these particular price patterns. So the indicator from the about section hasn't changed. So again, in time of recording this video, version one point two is the latest version. But if you stumble up upon version one point two you know, a month, two months inside the future, then, you know, you can always just double check to see if you've got the latest version by uh, clicking here and it will take you to oneglasstrader.com so you can download the most up-to-date version. So from the input section, uh, some slight changes. So from a global settings perspective, the alerts stay the same. Uh, they work for all the patterns. Um, again, you can get it through desktop uh, or laptop sound. Um, through an email or or also a push notification if you've got the MT4 app or you can do all three so so none of those changes what's new is as guys familiar with the indicator will see is this section over here and what this section shows is how many points do you want the alert signal um, the visual signal whether it is you know an arrow or a circle or a dot or whatever it may be for each particular pattern how far do you want it to be away from the high or the low of the bar because the feedback that I got was especially for the engulfing bar is that the circle uh, or the dot rather it was covering the low uh, of some particular bars depending on how the bar was forming so what you can do is you can select how many points away you want the signal the symbol rather is probably the best way to describe it is away from the high or the low now one thing to bear in mind is um, is that it stays fixed for all time frames so for example 20 in this case means two points so it'd be two points above the high or the low depending on what on what um, uh, pattern you're you're looking at is you can imagine from on if you're looking uh, more of a day trader lower time frame two points away from the higher low is going to be a big enough gap but if you go on to the you know hourly plus daily four hourly etc a two point gap is not really going to do anything you it's going to cause you the same kind of problems people were having before so you'll need to go back in if you're more of a longer term trader and set this distance a bit further so therefore it looks more neater on uh, on the chart so hope that makes sense if you've got any questions please feel free to let me know um and now we're looking at the uh, at the patterns so again like i mentioned before pin bar in version one uh started with just the pin bar we've now got five patterns all together included inside uh, the ogt version 1.2 and it, like I said, in this video, I'll be going through 
the Marabozu and the inside bar, the two new patterns. But just quickly wanted to go through. So from a pin bar, there is no changes to the indicator. Exactly the same as all the previous versions. Again, for engulfing, no changes. The only change from the Doji, not from how a Doji is formed, but there was a, a bug in version 1.1 that if you were um, trading live and a Doji was formed um, and you got the signal, every preceding bar after that Doji had the same signal of a Doji. So it's a, a, a Doji is a, is a blue dot inside the middle of the bar. Every bar, regardless of its formation, had a blue dot inside there and there were some issues with inside uh, inside the coding which uh, my new coder now I've got now for doing from 1.2 and going forward has now fixed so if you do like using the doji price pattern and you are trading it with all live bars going forward that is now fixed so appreciate for everyone that brought that to my attention um, that's now sorted for 1.2 and we'll be going through now the Mar Marabozu and the inside bar and before I show you them how it looks on the chart and some examples of it just giving you um, the formations of it and understanding where a signal will take place so the Marabozu um, is basically where the op uh, yeah the low is the open uh, for, for, for an up bar and the close is the high and then it's exactly the reverse for a, for, for a down bar where the open is the close. Is that right? Open, open is the is the <laughs> is the high. Sorry, and the close is the is the low. So effectively, there are no wicks in a in a marabozo. The official terminology, looking at it, there is no wicks. Now I was going to play with it in terms of you know in terms of the engulfing and also the inside bar of the percentage of the body that was covered so if you had a 99 percent and had the smallest little wick it would still count as a marabozo but i thought nope let's just keep it to the official rules um so a marabozo where there are no wicks it's a strong indication for that particular session that the bulls or the bears are in control and the symbol for a marabozu even though it's quite obvious when you look at it on a chart is actually a star so you know i'm using up a lot of symbols here in terms of what mt4 can provide so i've gone with the star for this particular price pattern so we'll look at that in a second and the inside bar inside bar again pretty much the opposite of a of a of an engulfing so it's where you have what we call probably the first bar of the mother candle um and the preceding bar is inside um, the, uh, the the mother candle or, or, the, or the first candle, whereas the engulfing is where the the second bar engulf is, engulfs the first, where this one is the first engulfs the second type thing. So again, it'll become all clear to you guys once you once you once you see it on there. And in terms of the marabozu, there is no changes to the settings because it is what it is it's fixed set rules you can't change anything from that from that side however what you can do with the inside bar settings again similar to the engulfing settings you can actually check the previous um, the quantity of the previous candle range so if the the mother bar or the uh, or the first bar has to be bigger than the previous four candles inside inside this case and that first bar slash mother bar um, you can actually select how big percentage you want the body um, because again we was getting some issues where you had a massive doji and a bar inside a doji which doesn't really make it into an inside bar technically it's an inside bar but normally that first bar has you know a majority of the body is filled one way or the other either bullish or bearish so you can play around with those settings again try to make it as customizable as possible to suit people's needs because everyone interprets inside bars and golfing bars pin bars etc all differently so i've tried to uh, make it as customizable as possible so that's there um, and that's about it from a settings perspective again um, like i said if you've got any questions around any of those happy to uh, take those um, so now what i wanted to do is uh, just look at a chart so I've, obviously you know i've just pulled up the euro usd on a five minute and the reason why i've done that is because 
you've got an example of a, of a marabozu. You don't actually see a lot of marabozus around, as you would imagine. Most candles have some some form of a wick. Um, so, um, but here you go. You got two here in the space of I don't know what there's about an hour or so, probably. Um, definitely not an hour. Um, but yeah, you get you get you get my point. Um, so looking at the in, inside bar. So the inside bar is. Um, is a is is a snowflake uh type symbol that i'm using so what i want to do is just show you quickly actually the um the movement away so as you can see now this this snowflake is two pips away so if i move it to i don't know let's just just do six pips away just for argument's sake you can see now that they move away from there and that will stay fixed across across all time frames. So again, gives you a bit of movement in case, you know, you got two symbols on top of each other and things like that. And 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 yeah, it just makes things a bit more cleaner and you can customize it to your uh, to your needs. So again, let's take this example over of, of, of an inside bar. You can see that this bar here is inside the first bar, mother bar, whatever you want to call it, and therefore classifies as an inside bar. Again, this bar over here, this red bar, is inside this bar. Now, I'll be doing a video on, on, on how to trade it. There's probably a couple of ways, best schools of thought, is some people like to trade it when, when the break of the inside bar. Some people like to trade it with the break of the first slash mother bar inside there with the stop or with the stop. Um, on on the opposite side so again just an example again not every price pattern in this indicator is going to be 100 percent accurate again big fan as you all know of confluence factors round numbers use of uses of indicators and, and all that good stuff in there and again you know i've got loads of videos on my channel to talking about that type of stuff but this video is purely on the technical aspects of of the indicator so just now going through the Marabozu, again, you've got another inside bar over here, um, over there. Um, but the Marabozu, so let's zoom in a little bit there. So you can see that this bar here has no wicks at all, and therefore you get the star, star bit there. Again, strong indication of that the bears are in control and, you know, you're, you're going to continue to go down. The way normally um, trade Marab Marabozus is you, you see it in the direction of the trend. So, you know, easily got a downtrend. See a Marabozu again. You've got, you've got, you've got a trade there. There was another one here. Let's put it out a bit there. And then here you go here. You see an another another Marabozu again with the downward trend. Again, the trend's kind of broken there, and I'm just out of my curiosity. I'm just gonna put on the um, uh, let's go with the momentum indicator. Yeah, so here you've got some di uh, divergence of price making uh, a lower high and. The indicator making a high high which you know is um, bullish divergence so therefore price then reverses up so if I saw this Marabozu I would then again you know look at this situation here and I probably wouldn't have taken that trade but if you look at this Marabozu if you look at here lower lows well, flat basically but but it's going with the trend at, and the indicator is effectively I'll take the right bit first my help the indicator is also making lower low so price and the oscillator are in confluence with one another therefore strong indication will go down it could reverse back up but again just something to look at in terms of why you can't take signals on their own and try to stack the odds of probability in your favor using using other things you know also got a you know round number over here you know again i'm very keen on round numbers little things like that you know to put the whole story together but again this isn't a uh, video about uh, how to trade candlestick patterns it's all about the price action indicator but um yeah like i said get this indicator 
oneglasstrader.com, link is in the description, 100% free. I'm here for you guys, any questions, anything, any issues with the indicator, let me know. Um, in my previous video when I was doing the sneak peek, I've already had tons of improvements or changes which, uh, which I was thinking about putting into 1.2, but I think we can save those and put them into 1.3. So, um, so appreciate that. I'm sure we'll get lots out of it once you guys have got it and and, uh, and had a little play with it. Really hope uh, you enjoy the indicator, and I'll speak to you inside the next video.